Thank you for coming tonight. We all know how treacherous Michigan weather is. There's one thing that's continuously carried on throughout history and maintains a strong grip on the hearts and minds of everyone. Music. It's something that's always fueled innovation and creativity and brought people together without discrimination. The many ways in which it changes has bred innovation over time. Throughout almost all of history, music has always been played by people who have studied music or learned instruments for at least a decade before even having the audacity to play out in public. In the ancient medieval days, music was played by some of the finest musicians in the kingdoms, often in quartets or trios next to the king. Even in the thousands of years that music existed, this didn't change until the 1950s and 60s, when rock and roll stormed America. It inspired amateurs to take to their garages and let loose with fuzz and fury. That wasn't until their moms told them to turn it down. <laughs> Bands like the Velvet Underground, the MC5, the Doors, the Stooges, all inspired minimally experienced younglings to rock out. In modern times, there are countless ways to make music with anything that your creative mind can think of. Traditionally, there's always been the standard lineup of a bass player, a singer, a guitarist, and a drummer, but it can be swapped out for different things. You know, like keyboardist, you know, you could have, you could, you could have like two guitarists and a drummer, you could have a bass player, keyboard player, a drummer, a drum machine too, three bass players and a drummer, never seen it, we just try it out. <laughs> A drummer and a singer, or even a one-man band, seen plenty of those. With modern technology that can change the sound of anything, in the most bizarre ways that you can think of, possibilities are endless. In some cases, modern technology isn't even necessary. You could go out and start a band using a couple of old oil barrels, or maybe that old Casio synthesizer that you found in your grandma's attic. Music has these certain specialties and characteristics that no other art form has. With one of those specialties is the is the way that it can bring people together in some of the most unique ways. Instrument shops, record stores, concerts, are all prime examples of this. In each scenario, you're being put together with people who already have one thing in common with you, a passion for music. Chances are, if you and another person find yourself in the same aisle of instruments, the same section of a record store, or shoulder to shoulder at your favorite band's concert, you may have more in common with that person than you may expect. Back in August of last year, a friend of mine introduced me to a local indie rock musician from Oxford, Michigan, named Jules Bonnet. After listening through a few of his songs, I saw a fly on his Instagram for a show that he was playing with many other local artists. Unfortunately, my friend had to work on the day of the show, so I made the journey out northeast alone. Since Howell doesn't have a, since not, Howell severely lacks a music scene, and I was itching to see live music. I, sorry. I walked in to the venue, and I saw a large group of people talking, and it didn't take me long to realize that I was the only outsider there. After a few awkward minutes of walking around like I was lost, I decided to socialize with some of the folks. One of them said to me, hey, I don't recognize you. Do you go to Oxford? And I said, no, I'm actually out from Howell, and I have never seen anyone laugh at me so hard. <laughs> Eventually, members of the bands caught on. They heard the news that there was an outsider in town, and were flattered to see that someone came from so far away to come see them. I still keep in contact with all my friends that I met there, and they're some of the sweetest people that I've ever met. <laughs> Seeing them play live revived my hope in the idea of local music scenes, especially those outside of big cities. It gave me faith that it can happen anywhere, including Howell. It also made me realize something. Everyone is an Elvis Presley. Everyone is a Chuck Berry, a Brian Jones, a Leonard Cohen. Everyone's a Ralph Hooter, a Brian Ferry, a David Bowie, an Ian Curtis. You just need to find the musician inside yourself. So whether you stay in town tonight or you go home, I at least want to ask, I at least ask you to ask one of your friends, hey, do you want to start a band? 